So today we are going to discuss about Palo Alto architecture. This is the second video. Mm, previously we are discussing about the firewalls. And this is also an interview questions. Okay, so this is a theory part, not that a, um, no, there is no such kind of lab or kind of things, but this is a very important part that you have to learn. Mm, architecture and one more thing, the packet flow. This is the most too important thing that uh, it's going to ask in every interview. I have faced a couple of interviews, even I am taking those interviews and I have also asking this question. So, uh, so if you are asking for what is the um, different between other firewall to um, Palo Alto firewall, that is also going to the same answer that it is an uh, SP3 kind of architecture. Um, and what is sp3 this is also a single question so someone sometime someone is asking what is single pass and um, someone asking what is parallel passing it's this kind of thing is so basically you have to know what is the single uh, sp3 architecture so basically single pass and parallel processing this is the architecture see this is if you are going to a small kind of answer then it will be a single pass that will be a software parallel processing will be your hardware see um, what happened the single pass the sort software you have to just remember the this image or the diagram that will be help you a lot and not only that um, you have to just read this you are not going to give this kind of uh, rate rataya means uh, uh, what I can say the whole information that you have to give you the uh, interviewer but for your learning that you have to read this basically the single pass is the software which is help you through the uh, the for this software the hardware will be taking care of the part. So what it going to do, you can just read it at very beautiful um, um, description over there and very simple. The thing in the Palo Alto network single pass software is designed to accomplish two key function with the Palo Alto network registration firewall first single pass software perform operation once the packet uh, once per packet. What is doing once a packet come okay uh, packet process the networking function policy lookup application defined and decoding and single signature matching for any another thread content the perform just once so what is doing once a packet come into english interface is checking everything a single with a single time mm, means mm, when you are entering a premises the security and the i card everything your face recognition, uh, your dress code, um, your wallet, everything is uh, checking a single, not uh, like that um, you are coming, okay, come here for your fingerprints, okay, you go to, for fingerprints, uh, come here to check your bags and packs, okay, uh, put your wallet over here, put your laptop uh, like that, um, whatever you are facing in the um, airport, right? So this is not that kind of situation has come once and like one kind of laser kind of thing is uh, what you have wired, what you are in, everything is going in one shot. That is a single pass software, you can say. And just go through it. It will be very easier uh, language to understand what is the parallel processing. How he will do this means a single so it needs some hardware, right? Hardware not not well, software not it will be performed without hardware. So what is it? This is the hardware part. So see the good um, price of the network SP3 architecture hardware. So what will be the hardware? Palo Alto network negation firewall usually parallel processing hardware ensured that the single pass software run fast. The um, Palo Alto network engine design separated data and control panel, data panel and control panel. There is two separate panel. The separate means there. So basically, um, what happened? Um, see, there is a different different processor for that. That why it is huge cost as well. Okay, different different processor control security network. This is a control panel and this is a data panel. Okay, so this is a um, uh, control panel for management and data panel for the traffic that it is passing through. Okay. So this is the two, um, what is control panel, what is data panel, you have to just go through data panel for the data which is processing like you are going to access YouTube, Facebook, that is your data. 
Una minute. Okay, and so um, why are we at uh see th that is the situation, okay? And um the uh, next part is um, management panel. Uh Palo Alto have a dedicated management interface and also a dedicated management um panel for that. So it is um dedicatedly used for the management. Interface kind of thing, the management details and the policy details and the um uh this kind of thing it is using for so the separate and uh, the separation means the uh, um highly utilization uh, uh one doesn't navigate pen impact the other okay simply if uh policy installation it is a management panel kind of thing so it is not going to impact the data panel right so data processing is the data paneling um, so now he is de um, segregating two others right um, this is my job this is your jobs so that that's their uh, defining okay the second important element the parallel processing hardware is used to dedicated specialized group that work apart from the server uh, networking routing flowing status network what they are doing using oh now this is the applications you um, yeah user id app id policy all ones multiple engine uh, hardware in escalated encryption decryption and de uh, decomp decomposition okay so one of the one mm -hmm. so basically this is the thing that you have to learn uh, regarding this is a very important question if you are going to give an interview l1 l2 kind of thing this is the most important question most of the cases it is asking so just read it carefully just uh, uh, memorize it and understand what he is doing then you are not going to think yeah, this is a single pass mm, and this is a parallel processing parallel processing we're doing by harder single pass is um, helping mm, by the applications of the uh, softwares okay that is the one important thing and the second important thing the bracket follow you can go it google no issue you can just uh, type it you can get it so there is two kind of things mm, that you can get in parallel process in the mm, uh, packet flow diagram i'm not going to increase this lecture no issue this is not a lecture sorry <laughs> okay mm. A bad flow for interview yeah so also you can get this kind of things no issue so there is two one is this image and that the, this is the other image so i am just first of all i am going to the simple one this is the most simple <coughs> initial bracket processing okay this is not the part so when a packet comes to an interface egress or ingress so what it will check first so that is the first point if i am looking into so policy i'm give you the in, uh, example of the policies why i am showing you source zone address and user id so if i am creating a policy just remember kind this kind of things actually i am doing this so it will very easier to understand so when i am creating a security policy what is required source zone source address then users right these two parts is need for the source one so similar it is asking for the source zone slash address or user id it is not mandatory i have to put all threes it is also you can give um, source zone you can add it is not mandatory that you have to define the user uh, you can put some address or you can put any also so that should be our address as well okay mm, so these three things you have to remember net what it is doing pba policy with forwarding um forwarding loop of c if you come to the firewall pvf policy based forwarding if something is over there then it is looking for this second steps third steps destination zone it is mm, mandatory that you have to mm, from where to where right you have to provide the destination zone destination this is the destination zone destination address you can put this is not mandatory you can put it any right now net policy evaluate it is not going to 
um, it is just checking that it is any kind of net is there or not. It's not going to um, just evaluating. Okay, just checking. Now, what will be the second post? Check, um, check allowed port. See, application or service allowed port. So it is checking for the service. For um, first, you have to create the communication means the establish the session right then we have to transfer this packet so first piling this is the first information that um you are dialing one number right so first of all there will be a ring right the opposite side the communication has been established right then he has received the call then what do you have to do oh this is unknown number this is fake number and what you can do you can disconnect this call right if someone is a friend or peer office colleagues is oh uh, yeah hello so this is a communication right between mm, so first key what happened so your session has been established the same thing you have to understand the session has been established the create a session right so a session has been established then now session established now we are going to receive this call and Hello, hi, whatever the so now check for encrypted traffic. Whatever see here is an option that encryption and decryption, right? So if it is an encrypted traffic, that also different situation. Then the de in uh, decryption policy. If it's on most of the trade traffic are the encrypted traffic, right? Uh, then it will check the decryption policy. What I have to decrypt, what I'm not going to decrypt it. Okay. The application override policy. There is an also an application override policy. Application override. If something is that the application has been override there, you can understand. Just remember those things. Application override policy. Okay. Then app ID. The last thing that I um, I have already told you that the app ID in the Palo Alto. This is the application. OK. Now it is all things for check. OK, now check security policy and security profile. Now after that, go to the same way security policy. Now he is going to check the security policy. It is allow or deny whatever it is and what it's going to check the last is. Security profile. This is called security profile. OK, see group profiles security profiles okay after that if it is encrypted then it is mm, if it is going to decrypt then it is de-encrypt traffic now he's going to mm, apply the net and packet forwarded last the firewall palo alto firewall has been applied the net then it is forward the traffic so this is a very simple way that you have to learn first your source zone address PBA policy forwarding is there or not destination zone and net evolution. Then check for allow port. Sorry, I'm getting a little cold. Okay, port number. If the port number has been matched, then it will be established the session. Then after establish this session, they'll check the uh, encrypted traffic. If it is encrypted, then it will go to decrypt. Then apply the policy overhead. If there is any application overhead policy is there or not. If not, um, then it will check for apply app ID. It is done. Then it will check for the security policy. Then it will check the security profile vulnerability application control URL filtering. Mm. This kind of thing. Then the if it is going to decrypt, then it will re-encrypt. Then um, um uh, net policy applied. Then pocket forwarded. This is a simple method. You can go for it. Okay. Now, if this is the not the um, you are going to the another way. There is a two option. There is a slow path and fast path. This is also you are getting in the um, Palo Alto Knowledge Base dot com. So you are just. Uh, read it carefully it is very beautiful um, uh, uh, image uh, uh, there is an image a very beautiful image you can see but the v, um, image is not going to the so clear there is a two process there is a fast path and the slow path i'm giving you the if it is in slow path then it will initiate the session then do the same thing the packet flow uh, the applet policy and all if it is the fast path, then the what when it will use the fast path. Already the session has been established. You're going to search the if you are going for Google, 
then you will check if any kind of session established from your system to the google dns server if already there is a session then it will take the fast path this is the main thing the slow path and the fast path okay this is the see same thing packet received then you will check l1 l2 ingress interface mm, firewall application ipsec vpn is there or not then what you will do the slow Mm, uh, firewall session step slow path and fast path what is the slow path slow path see um, it is a very um, uh, hazy picture uh, i'll check and let you know if there is a very beautiful picture over there so you can just find uh, i am also finding the same but it is very hazy one see oh it is going to open up youtube video okay no problem uh, i'll check if i'm get any or you will check you can get so basically what you have to understand see the same thing um, getting interface and vrs l3 route and l2 um, net policy backup firewall uh, uh, run match with the session different uh, create a install a session create an install a session right once he is installed the session then it will come to this one first path what is doing in the first path i've already told you looking for the session lookup if there is an already a session established or not session match then you'll go for the firewall uh like packet session not active session update session net applied ssl proxy now it's going to have um, the uh, proxy guy um, the encryption decryption part session applied on content inspect sp3 cd uh, the next this is a huge path so this is the basically two things you have to know the slow what is the slow path what is the fast path that will to be interview questions this is not only palo alto this is the for the other firewall as well mm -hmm what is the slow path what is the fast path? it could be and there is an um, interview question like that how firewall decide then who, um, which path i have to go so it should be got the i have got this interview so a question like of that so it is it should be the answer that um, uh, based on the routing means which path i have to follow means from this side or that side or um, i'm going for the internet direction or i'm going for the dmz direction or i'm going for the land direction so it is decided by the routing the most important thing the virtual route so this is the most important thing which path you have to go means which direction right after your uh, you have to go somewhere and how you can go and go to your uh, you are um, going to start your journey from your home to your um, office destination then how you have to go go to uh, uh, outside from your home then you have to go to the your um, next location then you have to go left then you have to go right how you can th th that should be a routing right so who do not have the idea about routing please very very important thing that is routing okay so this is the main thing that i am going to discuss for today's i hope it is not a boring session uh, but it is very important for the uh, basic level who are going to start the your journey for the firewall and the power uh, basically palo alto uh, thank you so much uh, <laughs> um bye bye